Mi chiamo Antonio Cupo. My name is Antonio Cupo and I'm 34 years old. I'm an actor. I reside in Rome, Italy, but I am currently in Vancouver, Canada, where I was born. And this is my little studio where I create. Welcome and let's get started. One of my biggest supporters and one of the people that got me involved in everything is actually my sister. I've got a sister and a brother and my sister, um, she was constantly doing school plays and, you know, in, involved in theater. I auditioned and, and I got the part. I think I was, I, I don't know, it was really, it was really funny. It's like one of my first projects was the, the bunny hop and I played Bobby Bunny. And uh, my mom made my outfit and I had all these like little, little balls, you know, of cotton that were like falling off my, my costume as I was like hopping around. It was, it was really terrible. And, Quite embarrassing, but it's it's those things that that you know build your character, I think. But yeah, my sister got me involved in in uh, my first productions, and I and I never I never stopped. You know, I always wanted to keep um, to keep going because it, w it became more interesting. I fell in love with the with the industry. I fell in love with being being an actor. I started working at 20 years old in uh, Vancouver, and at about 22, 23, I'd done a lot of different kinds of parts, you know, actor roles, silent on camera, recurring uh, guest stars. And I thought, how can I book lead characters? And the only way to do that in Vancouver is if you move to LA. So I did. After a few years of being in Los Angeles, I get a call from an Italian film director and I went out to live in Italy. It's funny because we go to, you know, you go to actor school or you go to like, you know, film school here in North America and you learn about Italian cinema and it's, it's where everyone starts from, you know, commedia dell'arte and, and like Italian cinema from the 50s and 60s. I always say, you know, if you know how to live, you know how to act. Uh, the only difference is, is that, you know, you have a, a 35 millimeter camera stuffed up in your face and, you know, you're asked to, to you know, be in, in sometimes high pressure situations, lights going away, you know, like these other actors in front of you that have different, different levels of, of preparation, different ideas or different, you know, you have different characters that, you, that you've perhaps thought a lot about. But um, one of the most important things for me is honesty. And I think that honesty in your real life is the number one place to start. The last year I've been um, working in uh, Italy and working also in Canada. I just finished a TV series here called Bomb Girls. It was a six part mini series that just got picked up. So we'll be doing another 13 uh, toward the end of this year. And um, you know, that was, we work with Meg Tilly. I play the lead, uh, the lead male on, the, on this series. It's um, kind of a co coveted position because you know, I, I'm Meg Tilly's lover, I guess, you know, or Meg Tilly's love interest. Though there's a lot of twists in the story. We don't know how, it ever, how it's ever going to end up, but um, that's how it was sold to me originally. So I think that I, I could effectively say that. Um, and uh, I did another film called September 11, 1683. And that was another Italian film director we shot in Romania and in Turin. Um, another film, film called American Mary with uh, a couple of young directors here in, from Vancouver. Think about waking up in the morning anywhere in the world and the one place I want to be on a, on a daily basis is Rome, Italy.